No real change in the forecast today. The heat, humidity, the storm threat hangs in there. And this is a live look downtown through our financial center uh, camera. This is a look at the max track. There are showers and storms ongoing there, and there's uh, one lone shower that just developed as you get down southeast of Bowling Green, just outside the viewing area. So there's a, a hint of activity this morning. Most of the active weather, strong to severe storms, heavy rain, uh, flooding, flash flooding, those concerns continue with that active storm track up north. But if you notice, the threat extends all the way back towards uh, Montana again today through Omaha, where they had a strong a line of uh, severe storms with a lot of damaging wind go through yesterday. And we've got this slight risk for severe storms in place today, marginal to slight risk tomorrow, and then by Friday, just down to a marginal risk. That's the lowest threat out there. So a diminishing severe threat going into the weekend, but the shower and storm chance remains elevated because we've got multiple rounds coming our way. Today, isolated this morning and then scattered showers and thunder showers into the heat of the day. Going to keep a close eye on the potential for a round of storms dropping south by later on this evening from dinner time through the evening hours. Could have a more widespread chance for rain, but also the potential for some strong to severe storms with damaging wind and hail. And then eventually that diminishes overnight. And then here we go again tomorrow. We'll have additional showers and storms firing up. These will be scattered into the afternoon. Uh, another push Friday night, Saturday is a front that's hung up over the Ohio River Valley makes a slow push south so you can see more substantial rounds of showers and storms getting going possibly early in the weekend. Rainfall amounts we're showing a range over the next five days between about one to three inches. So this could be huge as far as the ongoing droughts concerned. The problem is, though, with these multiple rounds coming in over multiple days, we also have that severe threat to watch out for. We're in the 70s. It is a muggy out there. We're still in the 70s for the dew point, which is very swampy air. So the forecast as far as the heat index is concerned, well, this model output shows a range of anywhere between 100 to 110, hotter and muggier as you go west. And that looks to be the case today. Uh, so we've got a heat advisory in effect. It's been pushed into eastern Kentucky, continues in the bluegrass, but also an excessive heat warning. Frankfort, uh, Anderson County, uh, Lawrenceburg, back through Shelbyville, you guys are in on it. And look how broad the excessive heat warning and the heat advisory is. Yet another heat wave ongoing here through the midsection of the U.S. all the way out to the East Coast in early July. Temperatures do take a dip. We're all the way down to the low 80s by Saturday, so there will be a cold front coming in. And the three-day forecast shows that we are up in the mid-90s today. We hit 97 yesterday, one degree shy of our max high for the year of 98 from the month prior back in June. And here you can see scattered showers and storms into the afternoon, but if we start you out later on this evening from dinner time on, we'll see that pop. That rising chance, that line of storms dropping south. So it could be an active evening for us. And then Thursday, additional scattered showers and storms into the afternoon. The storm threat finally diminishes Saturday morning in a quiet, cooler, less muggy end of the weekend. Still warm. Highs in the 80s. We're back up to around 90 with additional storm chances into early next week.